good morning students so in the last class we studied about the calculation of number of atoms per unit cell in sccc is it okay i will continue with the same calculation of number of atoms per unit cell in fcc okay before going to that i will say fcc only simple cubic so students what is simple cubic cell means the cell the unit cell in which the constituent particles the constituent particles only present at corner positions only present at The unit cell in which the constituent particles are only present at corner positions means if we draw the diagram here, this is our unit cell. Corner points are and here. Yeah, these are the corner points. So, students, these red color structures, what I wrote, are the constituent particles present at corner positions like this. Okay. Next, the green color one is. This one, two, three, four means here. Okay. So these are the one corner points at this position. Means the constituent particles are present only at one corner position, and this they are arranged like this. This is one, two, three, four of one layer, like this. Okay, so this another one is one, two, three, here it is. So this is another. Are you getting? Means the constituent particles are only present at the Corner positions that we are going to represent in a single line. Okay, so students can directly write the positions here because after that we need to explain. So in the last class, I told you one unit cell is or one corner point is shared between eight unit cells. This is the simple cell structure. The first one, how to calculate the number of
attach contribute from corner position so students how many corner positions are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 that is 8 into 1 So the number of one corner has to be shared between eight units, and that is one by eight. That is equal to one. Now you have to write. Therefore, total number of atoms per Units in SCC is one. Total number of atoms per unit cell in SCC is one. So this is complete. So students, next one is. Example of a cube here. Okay, listen. So this is example for one simple cube. Here, this is one face. This is one face. This two. Okay. This front and back are the another two faces. This above and below are the another two faces. What are those? Front, left, right. Above, below. Front, back. Means six faces are there for a single cube. So here, face center means it is a center unit cell means along with the corner position and at any other position of this unit cell, some other constituent particles are present. So this is what face center. Face, okay? Listen, the unit cell. Unit cell. consists of constituent particles at center of each face of cubic cell along with Corner positions. So this is called what? Face center cubic cell means the unit cell consists of constituent particles at the center of each face of cubic cell along with corner position. Are you getting? Means these are the corner positions. We know that eight corner positions are there. That is the contribution of the corner position. Next, along with that, six faces are there. So I write this is one face, this is one face, this is one face. Pair of faces means total six faces are there. So in that we need to write the constituent particles. So here, I write. So this one is left. This is right. Left, right. Okay. This one is above. This one is below. Left above below. So this is front. Okay. This one is back. And this is left right above below. Six constituent particles are, and remember, if I complete the unit cell, continue the unit cell. This is one unit cell.
This is one phase center. Up, you can write clearly. Okay, these are the corner positions. This is the face center. So students, if I consider only this side, of course, so many unit cells are covered here. This is like this. Okay, means this is shared between two ends. If you consider this, this one, This is also shared. If you consider this one, okay, here. Okay, this is also shared between another. Means each and every phase is shared between further two. This is also shared between another unit. Okay, means all the corner positions are shared between another, sorry, all the face centered unit cells are shared between two unit cells. So, this is an adjust marker. So, this face center, this is the common face. For this, this one is the common piece. You are written that, you know. These are the common piece. Means each unit cell is shared between or each constituent particle at the face and uh, is shared between two unit cells. So like that, how many common Face center are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then here, the number of the number of atoms can from face center is equal to so students total is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So per unit cell. Is it? One is shared between two means. One atom. One atom is shared between two unit cell. For one unit cell, how much? That is 1 by 2. Correct? That is all. So here, 6 into 1 by 2. Is equal to 3. Now you should write here, therefore, the total number of in FCC is total is equal to 3 plus 1, that is 4. This is the way to calculate number of atoms per unit cell in FCC. So, so the next another one is BC. So students remember, I left this sentence as it is because in the explanation I told the extra constituent particle is present along with the corner position. Means this contribution is fixed, only this will change. 
So the next one is B C C body center cubic cell. Okay. So here what happens? The unit cell. Constituent particle at the center of the unit cell along with corner position. So, students, to specify the sentence, you may take at body center of the unit cell. Okay? At the body center of the unit cell. To specify. Otherwise, you may take center of the unit cell that is cell. So, listen, this is one unit cell. At all the corner positions, constituent particles are there. Along with the corner positions, one day is at the center of the unit cell. Okay? So, if we compare it, this is one unit cell. Where the other power positions are there. One body center happens here. Okay? Then this is shared between another unit cell. Means the students, there is no contact between this unit cell and the this unit, this constituent particle and this constituent particle. This complete unit cell and this complete constituent particle is particularly belong to only one unit cell. It is not sharing between any other unit cell. Now, the number of atoms can be written from body center is equal to 1 into 1. That is now the total 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So the total number of atoms per unit cell in BCC is. If you write this much, you will get completely 2 marks. So students, they won't ask uh, this. Uh, what is this? Diagram. You just write that much, these sentences, you will get. Two marks. No need to write the diagram. Okay. Next one. So, students here, the unit cell consists of constituent particles at any one Opposite face of any one opposite face of a unit cell along with the other. 
The unit cell consists of a mass of particles at any one opposite face of the unit cell along with the So students will be at any one of the opposite face. So this is the cube I explained. This is above below is the one set of opposite way. This left right is one set of opposite way. And this front, front back, this front back is one set of opposite way. Are you getting? Left right one pair, above below, front back are the three opposite face, are three opposite faces. Okay, this is above below, left right, front back. In a, so in that, the unit cell consists of a constant particles and any one of opposite face. Any one, either left, right, or above, below, or front, back. I will take left and right here for our convenience. So, this is the face center. Of course, if you draw another one here, okay, another one unit cell, it is shared between two unit cells. Now, so here it is. Now look here, how many extra constituent particles are there? Two. Of course, each are shared between one way. That is one. Okay. In here, one plus one, two. Here, the number of atoms per unit cell in ECC is two. Okay. This is our book, the calculations of unit cell per Sorry, atoms per unit cell. Number of atoms per unit cell. In the right here, in SCCC, this is unit cell. This is number of atoms. In SCCC, it is 1. In FCC, it is 4. In BCC, it is 2. In ECC, it is 2. Okay, another one is then edge center. Okay, that is E C sorry, edge center that is E C C that is also consists of four. How the carbon position one along with that all are pointed at the carbons edges. Okay. So how many edges are there here? One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 edges are there. Okay? Those 12 edges are shared between 4 unit cells. Okay? Like that, how many are there? 12 are there. So 12 into 1 divided by 4. Means each one, each this is, what is it? Um, Adjacently bonded with or contributed with or shared between four unit cells. How? Listen, any center also I will explain. You will have an idea. So that will be not given in four, but that is important for need. So listen, this is one unit cell. I am arranging here. So this is one edge. This edge, not this edge, we take this one, end center. So this is of course shared between another unit cell. One, okay, in front, front, above this, year one, year one, means this unit cell and this corner point is shared between four unit cells. For one unit cell, this is one by four. So like that, 12 edges are there. So if I take this listen, one, two, three, one, two, three, four inch. Here, one, two, three, four inch. Next here, five, six, seven. Are you interesting? Here, four, Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve edges are there. So this edge, if you assume, so this is the another one. This is one edge, it is shared like this. One is like this, above. 
Are you getting? This is the one what I am considering. This. Okay, one unit cell is here. One. Two are shared between. This unit cell is shared between two now. Next. In the above layer. One. So another one also in the above layer. Like this. Means one corner is our one edge shared between four unit cells. So the total 12 are there. 12 into 1 by 4 that is 3. From the same the corner position it is 1. Total 4. Okay. This is also. That is what? Edge center. Not edge center. So this is all about the unit cells. So students next one is Next one is arrangement of atoms are there. So in the arrangement of atoms, some different structures are there. One dimensional, two dimensional, three dimensional. From that structure, we have in the three dimensional structure, packing efficiency we are going to calculate. So students, initially, before explaining the structure of the atoms, I will explain first the packing efficiencies, which are very, very important for examination. After that, I will explain that uh, effects sorry, defects, not effects, defects in the arrangement and also the uh, pattern of arrangement in one dimension, two dimension and three dimension. Okay. Let's discuss packing efficiency. Okay. So students, what is packing efficiency? It is the total volume the ratio of total volume of the sphere to the total volume of a cube multiplied by 100. Okay, one definition. Another one is the space, total space covered by the it is the total space covered by the constant particles in So, students, this is for packing efficiency. What is the formula of packing efficiency? Packing efficiency is equal to total volume of sphere in unit cell divided by Total volume of the cubic cell into 100. So, this is for packing efficiency. Packing efficiency is equal to total volume of sphere in unit cell divided by total volume of the unit cell into 100. Okay. Now, we will discuss the packing efficiency in three structures. One is FCC, another one is BCC, 
Next one is SCC. FCC, BCC, and SCC. Important. Okay, let's discuss one by one. Banking efficiency in FCC. So students initially, the main thing you need to do is dry, writing the diagram. FCC structure you need to write first. Listen. Phase center means Considering this one as a bulky element, we enlarge this place because we need face, face center. So remember A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. This is the... No, I am not telling. Only this is the name you have to assign for the... So just remember, face center means the constituent particles are present at the corner positions. Sorry, not this. This one. One A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H are the corner positions. Along with the centers of the face. Back. So in that, we are considering the line. So if we consider BC, this sphere will lift. If we consider AB, this will lift. AD, this will lift. And DC, this will lift. So we need to consider A, this one, and C. So students, how to draw the diagram, remember? By taking so these points as the centers. So this is the center here. One. This is the center here. So the red one are the, the spheres of constituent particles at the corner position. And this one is. The constituent particle is at the face center. Means remember, by writing the diagrams, these surfaces should touch. You cannot write like this. Year one, year one, year one. That is wrong. If you write like this, you won't get any marks. These spheres must and should they touch each other. Okay? Now listen. Here just to draw the imaginary diagonal. So students, here the edge length is taken as A and this diagonal length is taken as B. And the radius of these are taken as R, O, R. Here I write. So this is the diagram. Without diagram, you didn't get any ones. So long length. Edge length B. Okay. Especially if it face length. Face diagonal length B. B. Next. 
radius of the sphere b this is the data peaks let edge length be assumption a okay? face diagonal length b and the radius of the sphere is r now students we need to consider this triangle any angle this or this and just consider abc this portion a b and this one triangle abc so students listen now triangle abc so abc is a right angle triangle why so q means each sides are like the squares because a is equal to b is equal to a into a everything is same length into breadth into breadth into height so listen this one is one face is equal to a square length breadth both are equal okay so if we draw then this would be the 90 degree this would be the 90 degree means right angle triangle there if diagonal is drawn to the opposite sides of the square then the right two right angle triangles will form okay next here so, so from triangle abc that is right angle triangle okay from triangle if it is a right angle triangle apply pythagoras theorem means this is hypotenuse okay the square of the hypotenuse that is ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square means the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides okay so here this is pythagoras theorem Okay, no need to write. Just for your convenience only. So students, AC we substituted in this what? Like that is diagonal B. AB is an edge and BC is also edge. That is A square plus A square. So B is equal to square root of two A square. Okay. Therefore, B is equal to Root two into a. This is equation one. Okay. Next equation one. So the next one is from figure. From figure diagonal. B is equal to. So students listen. This diagonal consists of one half sphere, another one complete sphere, another one half sphere. That is R plus two R plus R. Why it is considered in what? This is radius. This is radius. This is complete diameter. Okay. That is B is equal to four R equation two. So compare. One and two. Okay, then left hand side is same. Root two a is equal to four r. A is equal to four r divided by root two. This is what diagonal. Sorry, you have edge length a. So students, now once you got a, volume of Q is equal to a Q. A volume of unit cell is equal to a Q. A value is how much? Four R divided by root two. So listen. Four fours are sixteen. Sixteen fours are sixty-four R Q divided by two twos are four. Root two into root two into root two. It is two. So this is what volume of the 
unit cell. Once we got the volume of the unit cell, next we want volume of the sphere. Now consider volume of one sphere is equal to 4 by 3 by the cube. Okay, next. Volume of spheres in FCC is so students, the number of buttons per FCC we calculated is 4. Means 4 spheres divided by 4 by 3 by R cube. That is 4 forces of 16 by 3 by R cube. This is what? Volume of the unit cell. This is volume of the sphere. Now apply packing efficiency formula. So here, packing efficiency is equal to total volume of sphere divided by total volume of Q into 100%. So students, we have total volume of sphere in here is 16 divided by 3 by R cube. So volume of the cube here is 64 by 2 root 2 R cube. So into 100 So students, R cube, R cube gets cancelled. 16 ones are 16 fours are gets cancelled. 2 ones are 2 fours are gets cancelled. Okay, then overall you will get 74%. No need to calculate that. You directly write 74%. Means the packing efficiency FCC unit cell is 74%. And remember, this face center cubic, this FCC, also called as HCP and CCP. Means if the as calculate the packing efficiency in CCP, calculate the packing efficiency in HCP. Calculate the packing efficiency in FCC. Both follows the same steps. This is packing efficiency of phase center cubics. Means if we arrange the molecules in phase center manner, then it covers 74% of the units. Only empty space that is void. We will discuss with PCC SFT.